Hello friends, I have been talking to you about the determinants of surgical planning for a case of pallid fracture uthal injury. And in my former video, I spoke to you about how to decide about the timing of the operation. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a very, very important point, And that is how to select an appropriate anti-grade bougie for the surgery. Dehe Groove, can you make a pre-operative decision about the buji and can you issue instructions to scrub nurse which buji to keep ready? As you know, it is very crucial in the operation of the urethroplasty of such a case to know this end in anastomosis. And for this, we all use an integrately placed Dehe Groove sound a buji this comes from the supraglyphic tract through the bladder neck into the prostatic urethra and it should come as low down as the apex, the end. And how do you select this buji? There are three options for you. One is a Hegrove buji with good curvature, lot of curvature, Hegrove buji with less curvature or you have sometimes a Lister buji. How to decide in which case and in which situation to use which buji? That's the question here. And you have for this, the ways to know for this is, look at the site of cerebral catheter, look at the caliber of bladder neck, and look at the length of the prostatic urethra. So if you ask me, there are these three factors which influence your decision which would you to use in which case? And I'll elaborate on these points now. What I mean by saying this, that you assess the site of supraglubic catheter. This is a supraglubic catheter. What you need to know is this entry point and its relationship with the pubic bone. How high it is from the pubic bone. In this patient, the bone is here and this is very close to the upper border of pubis. So it is a low surabdomic catheter. How do you know whether it is a low lying SPC or it is a normal lying SPC or it is a high surabdomic catheter? You have to pull this catheter straight towards some lycus in the patient and this is the pubic symphysis and pubic bone and you divide this space into four parts equal zones. This green zone is the best place through which you can have SPC. If you have SPC in this red zone, it is low SPC. If you have this high and this is very, very high, you, you don't do this way in any other patient. How does the site of suprapubic catheter entry influence the choice of anti-grade buji? If you see in this diagram, this is here is the injury. Here is the injury and this patient has a low entry, low side SPC, close to pubic bone. And when you insert a buji in this patient, this buji will come and the curvature is little more, it will hit here. The, the, the posterior wall of the prostatic urethra. With whatever manipulability you may do, you will find it terribly difficult to guide it up to here. Because the curvature is such, because the entry point is set. If you have a very high SPC location and then you put a buji to this, the curvature is such that it will hit the anterior wall of the prostatic urethra. If you take a buji with open curvature and you try to push it through here, it might go low down, but it may not still go up to the lowermost end. So in some patients, we use a lister buji which will be straight and less curved and it can easily go up to the most terminal end of the prostatic urethra, the apex where you want to dissect an anastomos. So therefore, this is very vital to know what is the site of SPC. The second point is the caliber of the bladder neck. If you look at these pictures of these patients, the pallid fracture injury, I have taken three examples of MCU. Look at this picture. 
this patient has a narrow bladder neck. This prostatic urethra is superimposed on the bladder. It's a narrow bladder neck, and through narrow bladder neck, you cannot guide up a thick anti-grade bougie. Look at this. This is right bladder neck. Any bougie can enter this easily. And look at this one. This has not only a narrower bladder neck, but has an abnormal course of the prostatic urethra. So this is tricky thing from where you have to guide the anti-grade bougie. So obviously, the, the bladder neck is important for you and you have to decide out of the set of hair glue that you have, the tip size, you see, the tip size is very variable. Depending upon the caliber of bladder neck, choose the proper tip size of hair groove, youthal bougie. The next point is about the length of the prostatic urethra. By length I mean, when you advance this bougie from top, it should not go at this point. It should go right down up to the apex. This is the correct placement of the antigate bougie. So obviously, if you have, this is medium sized prostatic urethra, this is long prostatic urethra, and this is a very long prostatic urethra. In a short prostatic urethra, you can take a curved bougie to reach up to the apex. But in a long prostatic urethra, the curved bougie will not come up to the apex. Right? So obviously you need here, not curved bougie, but you need here a straight lister bougie. Look at this patient. Here, you can pass a curved bougie from above and you come to the apex. But look at this patient. In this patient, if you try to pass a curved bougie, it will be difficult for you to come here and therefore choose a lister bougie. So friends, as I said, when you have to make a selection out of these bougies, these three factors are therefore crucial. I told you about site of SPC, second caliber of bladder neck, and third length of prostatic urethra. So please see them, and if you see them carefully, with grazing, gradually increasing experience, you'll be able to decide before the surgery which is the best bougie for that case. So thank you very much for your patient listening. In case you have any comments, please write on my email.